Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we are going to discuss and explore about how you can interface with the Arduino Uno. So if you can see here, I got an Arduino Uno. Okay, so this Arduino Uno, it's actually being configured in a way that uh, we are going to interface one of the cheaper sensor. As you can see here, this is a BMP180. Uh, it is a sensor used for the I square C for detecting temperature, pressure and also altitude. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how I make this kind of connection. And interestingly, I'm going to give you an idea how you can use this ESP8266 um, Wi-Fi module that already being attached to the adapter here ESP01 so this is actually running with the code ESP8266 uh, slash 01 module okay so uh, this is a very simple uh, makeup that can help your Arduino Uno communicate using a Wi-Fi and then uh, send the data to our uh, cloud services in this case I'm going to use the uh, ThingSpeak and then after that, you can um, ultimately obtain all the result with regard to the sensor over here. We are going to use the BMP180 in this video. And then later on, perhaps maybe I will share with you how to interface it with the another sensor that also have the I2C um, protocol. Okay, so the main idea about doing this is uh, actually because we want to collect the data and then we want to store the data in a sequence manner because sometimes maybe we have a limitation on the Wi-Fi perhaps you can use other method some uh, like uh, radio frequency and so on and then we can also interface it using the SD card and also the RTC which is uh, going to be explained later on uh, but in this video we are focusing on the Wi-Fi module using Arduino Uno only uh, and then connected with the soft serial with this uh, module and then uh, let learns how to interface it okay so this L lcd is just a simulation if you want to do this one uh, you can attach it to your uh, i square c um, connection at the a4 and a5 of the arduino uno i'm using the sensor shield module if you um, find out that uh, you want to learn more about the sensor shield module you can refer to my previous video the sensor shield is at just like a connector the additional connector that helped me to interface a lot of modules simultaneously with a simplified and much more robust uh, set setup okay this is the adapter so the adapter is quite cheap i think uh, around um, 0 0.5 us dollar uh, something like that okay and then you got this uh, very cheap sensor uh, esp module 01 okay so basically you are going to interface with uh, as follows so the first one you have the ground and also you have the vcc and after that you interface also the rx and tx okay i'm going to use the rx uh, at the pin digital number 11 over here and then the tx are going to be connected sorry the rx are going to be connected to the digital pin number 10 and then the TX are going to be attached with the digital pin number 11. So by doing this uh, example of the normal uh, digital pin, actually you can communicate with your Ar uh, Arduino and then send the data and then uh, perhaps also receive the data from the uh, web services. Okay, so first of all, after you setting up everything, okay, I forgot to tell you that this is the BMP180 that being attached to the i 2 C. As you know, the I2C is dedicated uh, using the two uh, kind of uh, wire that need to be connected to the SDA and SCL, if you, if you can see over there. SCL uh, and also SDA. This SCL and SDA are being connected to the I2C on the uh, sensor shield. But if you do not have this sensor shield, you can directly attach it to the A4 and A5, which is also similar. SDA is for A4 and then a5 is also the scl so you can find the um, electronic diagram inside the descriptions of the video of course together with the code and so on so let's learn about uh, the coding part of this uh, item all right so this is the code actually the code is being added by mr james uh, the link to the to his youtube is actually being attached here credit to his uh, work 
and also I made some sort of modif uh, modification a little bit. Um, okay, so the first of all, let me just um, make this uh, Arduino code become uh, bigger so that all of you can uh, see what is are going to be discussed today. So I'm going to make it uh, 25 over here. All right. So the first one, uh, we include a few libraries, okay, software serial, and then we use the include wire.h. This one is for I2C. And then we include also the Adafruit BMP085. This is also available in a lot of um, repository, especially on the GitHub and so on. This is for interfacing uh, with your BMP180, uh, kind of old sensor. Okay, and then we initialize the LED pin number 13 and then we are going to insert the API key obtained from the ThingSpeak. Okay, so this is actually coming from ThingSpeak website. After that, we are going to go to the ThingSpeak website and uh, have a look about that. Okay, and then we define our SSID. Please make sure that you change accordingly. Okay, so this is only an example. And then this is also the password. Please enter your password accordingly. That is uh, suitable for your um, application. And then we are going to call upon the software serial. Okay, this is where we connected our adapter, ESP01 adapter at the digital pin number 11 and digital pin number 10. So, let me just specify here. RX will go to the... RX are going to be attached uh, to the digital pin number 10. Pin number 10. And then the TX are going to be attached at the pin number... 11 so that is how you want to interface using the soft serial and also esp01 and then we initialize uh, all the configuration using the void setup i'm not going to use the lcd because i'm just going to uh, explain a little bit uh, more on the setting up on your um things speak website all right after that you just call upon to just check the sensor whether it's good or not being connected nicely or not and then we begin initialization uh, with our communication protocol Okay, for the software uh, serial begin, I'm going to use the different baud rate uh, to the fact that the speed of the Wi-Fi uh, sometimes require higher, more than what you can have uh, in the normal serial uh, communication. And then uh, void loop, you are going to interface with the um, LED pin that already being embed inside the um, Arduino Uno just to give an indication whether the connection is okay or not. And then we call upon our sensor. So this is the most important part where you make a float of your sensor. So basically the float of the temperature is equal to uh, this setup. So this setup is um, being gathered or being obtained from the BMP180 sketches. Okay, so we, we need to understand a little bit how you want to call those sensor. So that sensor are going to become float and then this temperature are going to call upon to be um, sent to our web services. And then this is a character. This is just uh, definitions that we created to adjust the values and then send these values uh, into a numerical, uh, from a numerical fax or numerical data into a string because uh, we want to send the string data uh, to our cloud services so that it can be displayed nicely in our website. And then we are going to call upon the serial print where we change already the temperature into the string temperature. Okay, and then we display everything here and then we make a connection uh, to the ThingSpeak server and then uh, we make some sort of uh, if statement. So all of this is actually being um, attached at the void loop section and then uh, after we make a connection over here, then we call upon the ThingSpeak server and then we make some uh, connection with the command and then we send a few messages until we get this um, area. Okay, this area is very crucial where you are actually combining your API key and then you're combining with your field because inside the ThingSpeak, they got the field, field 1, field 2, field 3 and so on. And then we send the field with our string variable that already being encoded by our sensor as a string temperature. And after that, we send the data and then the data are going to be sent and then uh, give some uh, prompt statement. Um, the continuations of all this process are being occurred until uh, we have this uh, AT dot, uh, chip close where we sign the where we giving the AT command to the ESP uh, A266 slash 01 module uh, sensor that you can see over here to our um, sensor so that they can uh, make a repetition for the next um, incoming 
uh, sensor read, reading from our BMP 180 and then we make the uh, restart okay the restart actually um, help to make the connection much more reliable because it is so speedy so therefore we need to restart it and then in a, a quick millisecond it can be re-establishing back and then send the connection towards our server nicely and then we make a delay so as you know the free versions of the ThingSpeak account um, giving you permissions to record at least 15,000 milliseconds means that 15 seconds per one data that already being locked into the uh, system and now we are in the coding part of setting up our Arduino Uno that already being attached uh, with this BMP180 sensor together with the ESP01 breakout board that already um, together being attached with the ESP82661 module okay so this one is already explained before so let us uh, connect this setup to our uh, ThingSpeak website or ThingSpeak IoT platform so that we can interface it nicely and then capture all the data as you can see here this is our code that already being discussed before and then what you need is actually you need to insert your API key and then you need to define your SSID and also password uh, and then you can upload your um, ESP01 module into the Arduino Uno okay to do that first of all you can just visit the thingspeak.com after you visit the thingspeak.com then you may want to um, sign in if you did not have the account uh, we can also share with you the idea how you can create an account uh, please refer to the uh, video descriptions and also the link available in our YouTube uh, videos okay so I have the account already so let me just proceed with login okay and then the first setup basically they ask you about your channel okay so inside the things pick uh, in the free version you can have uh, at least the maximum the things pick give you four channels so in this case I'm going to go to new channel and create one channel so the channel will be uh, temperature uh, of my room so this is the example okay and then uh, my room temperature alright so on the field one we need to specify as field F I E L D field one and then you can insert the other details over here because they will create um, such a good example dashboard for you to publish your details and data if you want to make it public okay I leave it that one for you to explore it okay and then I'm just going to hit the save channel so now my channel is already safe uh, but I'm not configuring it yet with my Arduino codes therefore you need to go to this API key you can just go to this API key Alright, so at the API key here, we can copy this uh, right API key and then you can paste your API key over here. Alright, after you paste uh, your API key over there, then the setup is already done. So let me uh, just giving you an example. So the next one, you need to specify your SSID and password and after that, we can uh, upload the code. Okay, so let me just key in first the the password and also the ssid okay and then followed by the um followed by the password all right so now everything is in order so the, the next step that you need to do is basically go to the tools okay you can just uh, go to the tools and then find your board so we are going to use the Arduino Uno board and then proceed with the appropriate serial communications if you can see here this is our setup that already being attached to the Arduino Uno board this is our sensor at the I2C and then this is our uh, adapter module that already being attached to the um, soft serial which is the RX connected uh, to the uh, digital pin number 10 and then the RX sorry the TX are going to be attached at the digital pin number 11 so it is a soft serial so uh, by doing that you can just go to this upload code okay you can just upload the code 
and then wait for a few seconds until the code is being uh, finished loading up inside our Arduino Uno and then we can check our ThingSpeak website okay so now it's being uploaded um, it's actually a very uh, cool project because you can uh, further enhance and then change the sensor according to your needs uh, in this example just a simple one uh, but of course you can um, change it into the complicated sensor and in fact if you're using the i square c you can use a uh, multiple sensors also inside our arduino shield okay done uploading so if you can see here we got the temperature already 23.9 quite warm in my room okay now let us begin with uh, investigating our things peak of my room temperature whether it's being firing up or not okay you can see here the data is already being fired and then you can also add the widget over here and then put the gauge so the gauge is basically give you an idea about what happening uh, in your data in the vis uh, in the uh, visible conditions and then uh, this is data that already uh, being published and, and set so that you can import it and export it out uh, for the data analysis purposes okay and then you can uh, go to this data import and export furthermore to make some changes so i'm from malaysia of course i'm going to use the gmt plus it all right so you can download the data the data are already uh, being formatted into the cf uh, csv format so you can make some uh, manipulation changes and so on all right so if you want to publish it you can just go to this uh, public view and then you can click this uh, sharing and then you can share uh, share channel with uh, everyone so after doing this, uh, basically you have a public view. So the public view enable you to share also uh, the temperature reading of uh, your devices. And then you can also put some display over there uh, to create something. So I really enjoy um, giving you an idea about this uh, setup. So hopefully this um, idea of uh, using I2C device and also the Arduino Uno by utilizing the ESP01 breakout uh, so that you can uh, further understand about the flow of doing this. With that, uh, thank you very much. A special credit goes to the uh, personnel who are sharing this code. I'm very happy. And then uh, you can find uh, their link at the descriptions of this video. And then also, I'm going to share with you another uh, few examples in the future. If you like this video, please consider to like share and the most important thing please subscribe and until then enjoy doing a lot of uh, iot stuff bye bye